Who did it? But there's more. There's more. You're tired, but you have to keep going. There's still more. There's always more to do. It's not going to be easy. I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur, the second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him. Only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. Loves you. Open the gate. She can't. Open the gate. It's locked. Try harder. She can't. The gate. She can't. <laughs> she can't. She will. She'll find it. She wants me to go.
lose him. Where is he? Where's he gone? We're in the wrong world. He's not here. She's in the wrong world. He's not in this world. He's in the other one. He's in the other one. He's in the dark world. The dark. The dark world. The world once seemed so simple. Black and white. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further. Peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the glow. And Seno explored new paths into the unknown. He was the only one that really loved her. He did love her. The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world. Fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness. Swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not amused. that are most precious to you. feast and rejoice, and amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Oh dear. You have blood on your hands. 
You are guilty. You will always be guilty. Was it worth it? to your father when you had the chance. Why didn't you listen to him? This love has tortured you and it tortures them. No one else could. Patterns. Shapes. She thought she had light within her. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Darkness. Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go, and she was caught between two worlds. That of Zinbel and her past. And Dillian. Her future. Two realities tearing at her soul. He was the only one she could trust. Could she trust him? He was the only one she could trust. Could she trust him?
Northmen tell how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. When Baldur's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief and she dies. She's put next to her husband, and the pyre is lit, sending the dead to hell. But even so, the gods cannot accept his death. Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home.
Dillian! Be very, very careful. Dillian never much cared for the underworld and looked dimly upon the Druids like her father, Zinbal. I guess he took after his father, a chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see. And he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms. Had to see the world through his eyes. Slowly, the darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. You're going to fall, careful. No, she's not. She's not going to fall. She's strong. She's steady. She can do it. You can do it, Simon. Father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. <laughs> My own father was born blind. Doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. <laughs> the word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? You give up the beautiful world thing. You, and only you, can see just to be rid of your nightmares. Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? The gift that makes you so special in my eyes. Just another part of the person I love. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. What if this is pointless? What if you're wrong? What if this has nothing to do with the sword? What if we're wrong? The sword will never be yours. <laughs> what if this is the end? It's just a trick. 